So you want to buy a paramotor, not to be confused with paragliding or parasailing. Paramotor has a motor, a propeller, a parachute, and sort of a camping chair, all strapped together. Probably the most cumbersome bit of gear you'll ever strap to yourself on purpose. Paramotors, to me, are the closest thing you can get to a jetpack. It's a personal flying device you strap to your back. Take off nearly vertically. Landing gear is your own two legs. There is a trike version also, where you replace the camping chair with a go-kart. So essentially today we're talking about jetpacks and flying go-karts. Perfect. Performance-wise, well, it's not really about performance. Some are a bit quicker than this, but none would be considered fast. The Wright Brothers flyer was actually about the same speed. So are container ships. So are grizzly bears. So there's that. At this speed, wind is a major factor. A moderate wind could double or half your speed. A bit of a stronger wind could mean you're not getting back to where you took off from. You often see these guys flying early in the morning. Because of the ability to take off and land so short, cross country isn't out of the question. Even though they don't travel very far, you can likely land pretty close to your final destination. Especially if you're going to a soccer field. You've probably seen Tucker Gott take his paramotor to McDonald's. That video is highly recommended and in the description below. But nine times out of 10, it's faster to take a car wherever you're going. But paramotors aren't really about going somewhere. They're about having Having fun. And what is definitely fun is flying for cheap. Doesn't cost very much to get fully fitted. You could easily pay this much for a new motorcycle or snowmobile and they can't even fly. They're considerably faster though. It is possible to start out at the low end and upgrade your parts as you go. A lot of the components of a paramotor have a lifespan of about 2,000 hours. And that's not before overhaul. That's their actual life. And they certainly require some maintenance along the way. They burn less than a gallon an hour and most carry only three gallons. In the US they're restricted to carry no more than five gallons. There are some calendar based inspections on some of the parts and that works out to about $50 a year. Operating a paramotor isn't free by any stretch, but there are plenty of non-aviation hobbies that would cost you more. You could sell your Warhammer collection and fund your paramotor hobby for years. Paramotor certainly isn't the most conventional form of powered aviation, but it may be the least expensive. In any case, that's a paramotor. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.